Leviticus Cornwall. This blessed land is being run into the ground. What's wrong with this place? Evening to you, mister. Evening. Yeah, how you making out? Mm, I'm not doing so great, let me tell you. Oh, hell. May I have some space, please? Oh, do you need something from me? People just want to be left to themselves, you hear? Well, now you get wise, huh? Good night, sir. Good evening. <coughs> Homes for the blind. Oh, shit. Is, is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? dinner because that Butcher Jenkins was found you, passed sir. out in front of Ed Mom. Uh,
Chester. Easy, easy.
Yep. Come here. So... What's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea. But I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas. Let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. Well, uh, leaving love aside, uh, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John. You take the left. You see a shot. You take it. 
Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Arthur, go with John. Those two, stay out of sight. Have you got a shot? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked women. You taking them or me? It's like someone's looking at you when they're not. I'd get rid of them. Bring it up with Senor Bro. All right. Sure it's Fine. Good. Arthur. Good. Now take that damn door in. We got more inside. down here.
Come on, Ronte. Sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. <laughs> 
The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth has got to be disposed of. Our friends, the Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. Oh, oh. Oh. Call them now. You call them. Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. Good goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Arthur. How are you? Okay, considering. Glad to hear it. Telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't fight. Right Ms. Wimshaw, 
We've done the work. I've been in town. Look, watch me. Hello? Morning. I'm waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. Morning, Arthur. I, I just... You okay, Miss Grimshaw? I'm... Oh, O'Driscoll's, Pinkerton's, is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. I know the feeling. You're sure? Certain. Well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. And certain this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. Well, you're the expert. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within... Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right, with security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan, one last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. 
You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This. This better work. Looks like there's law over th the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John. Will you? Please, as soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. this out. Forget all the drawers, just get those safes open. I need the combination for these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. Nineteen. Nineteen! Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? Seventy-two. Okay. All right, should be one more number. The last number. Come on! 54. You get that, Mr. M? 54. Yep. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> well, well, well. 
Holy shit, they weren't joking. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on!
control of the bank. The others are trying to hold them off. Okay. Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, so if you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on! Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> well, what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. <laughs> 